This tutorial will review creating a presentation using QuickOffice. To begin with, we open the app, and within the QuickOffice space, in the bottom right hand corner, that you'll see a folder with a plus sign or a sheet of paper with a plus sign. When we click on that and we click on presentation, it will open up the presentation environment. So to begin with, we want to make sure that we at least have the content included. Now, one of the requirements for the content is that you actually speak in uh, the material as opposed to using the keyboard. So to begin with, I need to add my title. When I double tap to add the title, you can see that it automatically pulls up the keyboard, or if you have your Bluetooth keyboard um, working, then it will. you can use in keyboard on your um, keyboard, but in this case we want to use the audio function. And you'll see that when I clicked on audio function and set it aloud, that it appeared within my presentation. So keeping that in mind, let's just go through some of the tools that we'll need to use um, when we're creating our presentation in QuickOffice. So again, if I double tap on it to add my title, and I use the audio feature, and for example, we know we have to include the advantages and disadvantages, you'll see that it is automatically input in. Now, it doesn't necessarily um, maybe format it the way that we want to, so we have the various tools um, at the top of our window that allow us to edit um, whether it's the text that we input in, we want to change the color or the font style or the size, um, we can do so using these format options. When I need a new slide, I merely click on the plus sign and it takes me to the new screen. Integration. So as you can see, I can do this throughout the presentation to add the text information that I need using the audio feature on the keyboard as opposed to keying it in. Um, please make sure that you test this out. It goes against maybe um, your normal tendencies to want to key it in. It goes against those tendencies that many of you talked about um, in your reading reflection about wanting to jump on your PC as opposed to your iPad because it's your comfort level. I want you to get out of your comfort zone in this class and try out some new techniques. Um, as you can see when we click um, within the environment, we also have an area where you can add shapes um, as it's selected or you can also add images and this can be images that you've either already taken um, and stored on your iPad or if you want to take images, um, camera shots and add those to it as well. Keeping in mind um, that I do always say that you can hold down your home button and your off button at the same time. When you do that, it automatically takes a screenshot and stores it in your camera roll on your iPad. So that's a great way to, um, if you want to demonstrate or if you're creating a tutorial, to take a screenshot of your iPad. Um, you can see here that as we go through, again, you can add um, as many slides as you want to your presentation. And then when you're done and you've made it look the way that you want, you can go to close and you'll want to save it as, and certainly in this case, because it's assignment, I believe number eight, you might want to put in your initials. And you're just going to save it. And it'll appear here within your inbox. Now the next step is you're actually you're going to be opening it in um, a different program and in this case we're going to actually open it and explain everything. When we do that you'll see that it automatically loads into that environment and this will allow you to create your presentation, add um, any audio, um, any video, any other elements um, that are required one for the assignment as well as anything you would like to do in addition. Um, using explain everything.